This is actually take two. Alhamdulillah, I spoke for like 10 minutes, but my phone recorded only the first five minutes. <laughs> okay, Alhamdulillah. Yes, so I was saying that. Evet, arkadaşlar, merhabalar, nasılsınız? Türkçe nasıl? Kolay mı? Zor mu? <laughs> nasıl gidiyor? Güzel. Sınav nasıl geçti? I hope you guys can understand. I believe by now you should have completed the first level, the A1 level. So I believe these are basic dialogues you must have learned in class. How was your exam? Uh, please leave a comment below. How has it been so far learning Turkish? Okay, in this video, inshallah, I want to quickly go over just two main things that I feel uh, I should let you know. It would be good if you can do them during Tomer. Uh, so the Tomer period is a very good time and I would say personally that it is, the, it is, it's going, it is going to be your best time in Turkey. Why? Because you are, in, you are in, a, in an international environment with friends from all over the world. You get to meet them, you get to practice a new language together, you get close with your teachers, you know, you are very few in class. In engineering, we were like over 100 uh, in year one. So there is nothing like one-on-one -on -one connection with the teacher, except, you know, you take extra effort to go to the offices and discuss with them. In Tomer, you know, you know everybody, you know their names, you know those who can speak very well, those that cannot speak very well. It's a very good time. And if you are in some good Tomer centers, you, they take you out, you go on trips. Yeah, mashallah. Uh, in our time, it was, uh, we did from October till January before Corona started in January and because of that we could not go to school anymore so we did not really enjoy the uh, time of Tomer but those four months you know have left an everlasting memory up here and those friends I made uh, till today are all very good friends of mine even though we don't get to meet anymore like uh, they are just people I can never forget you know uh, those from Kazakhstan, those from uh, Albania, Montenegro, those from Chad, those from Ethiopia, all of them, mashallah, they are all good friends today. All right, so as you may have experienced so far, uh, this, uh, this is a very, very good time to, you know, mix and get to know other people's cultures, you know, and get to see life from other people's lenses. Yeah, so first of all, uh, to make the best use out of your turmeric period to be able to get the best out of it, enjoy your time. The first thing is to get good grades in class, honestly. So um, the moment you start hating Turkish, if you don't already hate it, <laughs> is when you're not doing well in exams, when you're not able to perform well in class, when you're not able to relate, when you're not carried along, you know, when you don't feel like you're participating like everyone else, you get very tired, you get very, you know, you lose interest quickly. So the first thing I would suggest you to do to ease your process of learning Turkish is to change the language of your devices to Turkish. Yes, change the language of your device to Turkish. Try it. Do it now. Try it. <laughs> You'll be forced to see aramalar instead of calls, messagelar instead of messages, ara. Um, on WhatsApp, you'll be forced to see sen. Instead of you, you'll be forced to see Yanit, Yanislar or Yanisla instead of answer or reply on Instagram. Uh, you know, it will really help you learn more words. It would help you see how to use um, words in different positions in a sentence. Yeah, so when I got this advice too, Alhamdulillah, I tried it. After a few weeks, I think for like three or so, I, I got tired of it and I switched back to English because yes, it's really frustrating. You want to do something, you are trying to use your phone, but you don't understand what your phone is saying. <laughs> it's a very, very uh, annoying feeling sometimes. So for like a month, I didn't change it back, but then I realized how much I was missing and then I changed it back again. And Alhamdulillah, I use it for like, um, you know, four, five or six months. I cannot remember exactly, but I use it for a long time. And Alhamdulillah, it was very helpful. Now, there are other things you could do, of course, to help you learn the Turkish faster. They have made a full video on that, to have a positive mindset about it, to, you know, watch videos without English captions or if, or with Turkish captions only. And, um, you know, read the lyrics of music, not just listen. I think it is you reading the lyrics to understand how 
the words are played with that will help you understand the language more. And then listening, I used to watch um, a comedy show called Joke Guzel Hareketler. It means um, very good movements or very beautiful movements, but it's a comedy show. And I used to uh, laugh a lot when watching, but it helped me understand how the locals actually speak. Because the listening you get in Tomer, it's, um, it's simplified. It's, um, um, it's only related to the grammar you're currently learning at that point in time. Uh, it's, um, it's not exactly real. Yes, they, they try to make it real, but you know, it's not the same as you listening to a, an old man speaking in the metro or, or a woman in the shop or office. Yeah, so I don't know. I feel like that uh, comedy show helped me with my listening skills because you can't even translate it to English. It doesn't really work well. So you just have to watch it, listen, and try to predict what they are saying through their body movement. So that was very helpful for me. Yeah, all right, so that's number one, guys. The second advice I would like to give. Now I'm saying advice, but not exactly advice, because look, even me, when a brother from Chad, the one who actually picks me from the airport, we were in a dormitory during COVID, and we met in the dining one day. He gave me some pieces of advice. He told me, Bowser, enjoy your time in Tomer, travel, explore Ankara, because I was in Ankara go to different places, spend time with friends, you know, do this, do that. You not have time when you resume school. Mm. I do not do any of that. <laughs> now I'm here trying to tell you guys the same thing. So it's really left to you whether to do it or not. But I feel like even if one, one person out of a thousand people who would watch this video, inshallah, if one person would do it, it's better than not saying it at all. The advice goes thus, if there's anything you want to do, let's say something really dear to you or a life mission or something regarding academics you want to get 4.0 you want to graduate with a 4.0 gpa or you want to start a business or you want to uh, up your online game or you want to you know, open an instagram account or tiktok account to share your experience in turkey or you want to get a job or you want to i don't know whatever it is that you want to do i feel now is the best time to start why why? Because you have time in Tomer. The time you get in Tomer, you wouldn't know how valuable it is until you resume school. It is only those in first year that will tell you oh, how free we, we were in Tomer, how free were we in Tomer. It is only those in second year that will tell you how free were we in first year. <laughs> it's, that's life. That's life. So, um, as a fourth year student, I am gladly telling you that every year you are passing through, it's going to get harder. For some departments, yes, it gets easier. I, I, that is true, I know. However, generally, with the way life is, with the, with the fact that naturally we are growing up as humans, it would almost, most likely get harder. So, your summer time is the best time you can link up with as many people from different countries as possible. By the time you resume school, you'll be just three or four international students in your class with um, 80, 90, 100 and more Turkish students. Uh, it is the only time you end, finish class at, is it 12 in some schools, 1 o'clock or 3 o'clock? Whatever it is, it is early. So the point is, whatever you want to do, start now. And what I mean by starting is actually learning how to do it. Say you, say you want to start a YouTube channel like me. You can start learning how to edit videos, how to talk, how to you know, play with camera movements and all that. Say you want to start a business, import and export. You're in Istanbul, you see that, yes, there's a big opportunity here. If I sell these materials back at home, I can make some good money. Or if I do this, if I do that, it will help a lot. Please ask, go there, try to discuss with them. If you are planning to do your research, you are a master student, a doctoral student, try to go to your department, Make friends with your teachers, your lecturers. Find the ones that speak English if you want to do your research in English. Try to discuss with them, see what they are interested in and see how they can become your supervisors, you know. Ha, um, if you are looking to uh, get a job, you know, how can you get a work permit here or what are part-time job opportunities here? How can you start teaching English if you know English or Portuguese or French or whatever languages you know? How can you tap into those opportunities? Because now is the best time to start. Okay, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, it's, um, it's so unfortunate because I'm saying all these things and I'm remembering myself, listening to all this and not doing any of them. 
see that time i was like man when i have netflix actually youtube not even netflix and i have um, unlimited wi-fi why would i stress myself life is good so i was relaxed i did all that anyways if you can relate to this please leave a comment if there's something you want to do leave a comment and um, i hope this is very very helpful so these are two pieces of advice i really wanted to share with you guys i don't know i just decided to speak freely without actually scripting this video because i wanted to actually script and do it like a normal stuff but i feel like i wanted to talk to you as my younger brothers and sisters and for those older than me too as my own seniors and elders yeah so uh, that's all i have for you i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like and share with friends thank you very much and i'll see you in the next one assalamu alaikum